What up guys, back again with another protein powder review on MuscleTex NitroTech Protein Powder and this is the uh, Mocha Cappuccino Swirl flavor. And uh, this is the uh, also the Whey Isolate Plus Lean Muscle Builder uh, Protein. So let's go ahead and uh, go over the facts here, the main uh, macros and stuff. So we got 30 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar, 3 grams of creatine, you get 6.9 grams of BCAAs, 5.3 grams of that glutamine and precursor, and then 3.2 grams of leucine. So a lot of good stuff there. Um, what else we got? Yeah, just a lot of other info. Uh, nutritional facts or supplement facts here real quick. One scoop is 44 grams, and you get approximately 21 scoops, so 21 servings per uh, two-pound container. 160 calories, 20 calories from fat, you get 2.5 uh, regular fat, and then you get 1.5 saturated. 70 milligrams cholesterol, 4 grams of carbs only, and then only 1 gram of sugar, so it's very low carb. Um, 30 grams of protein, a little bit of calcium up in there. Then they got this thing right here, nitro amino matrix, just you know, kind of separating the uh, amino acids there. Um, then the three grams of that creatine. And protein source, isolate protein and peptide blend. You get whey protein isolate, like peptides, whey protein isolate 97 percent, and then you also get some whey protein concentrate up in here also. Uh, and this is comparing it to I think uh, optimum nutrition. I'm not too sure though. That's the exact competitor but as you can see they're comparing their protein to uh, another protein and then this is just you know kind of like their advertising and stuff 70% 70, 70 better than whey 8.8 .8 pounds of lean muscle built and I think what is that in six months or in six weeks so that's pretty nice but Let's go ahead and uh, go over the flavor, which is uh, I'm pretty sure why most of you guys would probably be watching uh, would probably be uh, watching the video for. So let's go ahead and talk about the flavor here real quick. So we got it up in here. There it is. So Mac, uh, mocha cappuccino swirl, pretty much like a coffee chocolate flavor. I used eight ounces of water. So let's see how it mixes up. All right, let's see how this shit tastes. All right, so right away. It smells very coffee-ish with like a little bit of a hint of like a chocolate smell right now and the protein. You guys can see right there. But it looks good. Alright, let's go ahead and drink this shit. Hmm. That's pretty good. Wow. That's actually pretty le pretty legit tasting. Mixability the mixability seems like it was pretty also pretty damn good. I mean, I had it in the freezer, kind of you know, you have it in the freezer and it starts you know thawing on the shit. That's how you see it all sweaty, uh, all that water and stuff. Um, I can't see any like particles or anything, so it looks like it mixed good. It tasted like it mixed good. Let me drink a little more here. Hmm. I feel like I taste like a little bit of powder in the uh, in the drink, like I'm sipping on it, and there's just like some powder particles up in there. So I feel like the mixability probably isn't, you know, uh, you know, like ten out of ten. But I mean, I feel like it's still decent. Let me drink a little more here. It has a good flavor. It's like chocolate. But it got that coffee flavor also, so I like that. Pretty good. Drink a little more here. Hmm. Damn. Almost kind of reminds me of a a healthier, you know, mochaccino McDonald's frap or something like that. You know, like something unhealthy, but they made it taste. I would say it's it's pretty decent tasting. And obviously, it's way healthier than a fucking uh, a frappuccino or something like that. Uh, if you really like, you know, like that Starbucks stuff or whatever. Um, hmm. I mean, you do get a little bit of that foam action, but not a big deal. 
Yeah, I feel the flavor's pretty good, guys. So it's actually pretty on point. Mocha cappuccino, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm tasting here. Um, mm. Yeah, it's just like a little bit of those, uh, what do you call it, uh, those powder particles that, you know, kind of mess it up. But overall, I think the taste is pretty, pretty damn good. It's pretty tasty. And I would say this is probably the best flavor I've tried from uh, this uh, this brand, uh, Nitro Tech, uh, Muscle Tech. Um, we also got, you know, like uh, Muscle Tech, uh, Whey Gold, and some other one. But for Nitro Tech, this one right here with the creatine formula, I've tried three flavors the cinnamon swirl, I think it was, decadent brownie cheesecake, and now this uh, mocha cappuccino swirl. And I feel that this is the best one right here. So this one tastes a lot tastier. And the mixability also feels a little bit better. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this a solid rating. <clears throat> go ahead and give this a 9 out of 10, guys. 9 out of 10 overall. I feel like the mixability is like 9 out of 10, maybe 8.5. And the taste is probably 9 through 10. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Pretty solid, guys. Pretty good tasting. So, if you like coffee, if you like chocolate, you like frappuccinos, and, you know, you order those... Uh, you know those mocha fraps or whatever I, I say you know obviously you're drinking protein and stuff you know consider trying this one out because I think it's pretty tasty um, obviously it's not gonna be as sweet but I mean it's it's pretty you know it has a good flavor to it and I also use only uh, I use actually over the the uh, recommended uh, directions here I used eight ounces of water instead of uh, six ounces so it won't be super thick but it still has a really good flavor uh, with just six uh, with, uh, with, uh, with just eight ounces. So, yeah, the flavor tastes good, and I feel the mixability is way better with just uh, eight ounces instead of going with a six. But you guys go ahead and try it out, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, guys, for this review. Nine out of ten, check it out. Um, good, good protein here. Lots of good essential stuff. You got the creatine, the protein, and yeah, as far as just the taste, I'd say it's pretty good. So. That's going to be it, guys, for this review. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Post some comments below if you have any uh, questions or whatever. And I'll see if I can answer them. And, yeah, that's going to be it. So catch you guys on the next video.